one of the best ways to figure out how something is constructed, how it's put together, is to take it apart. So I thought it'd be a good idea to deconstruct Mopsy in hopes that you might get a better idea of how everything comes together. For starters, the Arduino here on the right hand side, I've got it on the outside so you have better access to the pins and also the programming cable, which we'll unplug. And something I've done here to reduce the number of wires coming out of the robot, um, what I've done is, is I've combined the power and the ground uh, in this block here in the back. This is where I've connected both servos plus the NeoPixel, and again, combined the power and the ground into a single wire, and then all of them come down to the Arduino, pins 8, 9, and 10, serve the servos plus the NeoPixel, and again, single wire there for the power and ground, nice and clean. I will take this block apart so we can get into the body. And let's start working on the shoulders. This uh, bolted Revolut joint features a Chicago post connector. This is an item that's typically featured in uh, scrapbooking. It holds pages together and they are made out of soft aluminum. So do be careful. You might chip the corners a little bit if you get too forceful. But in this case, it's just a friction fit. So as soon as you start to unscrew them, they, they come out pretty easily. And also the arm, which reveals the screw underneath on that mount connects in through to the servo underneath. And something to mention here, I've actually used the longest of the two screws that are, that are included with the servo horns. Uh, this is just due to the thickness here. It, it actually makes for a much better, more solid connection. You can see here it's the longer of the, of the two screws. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Oh, something I forgot to mention here, that when you're putting this together, you want to orient the servos correctly. Just go ahead and put the cap on there and uh, twist the servo around until it's uh, straight up and down. It looks good. And when you're satisfied with the position, then go ahead and add the screw and the arm and finish with the hardware and you should be good to go. Okay, let's finish up this other side. Same thing here, uh, once we get the connector off here, there's just the screw inside, remove the mounting plate, and this is, uh, those two pieces actually hold the body on to the torso. To get the body off, grab the box and just squeeze gently, which should get you past the servos. And there's the torso, mounting plate, plus the servos on the back, cables go through the bottom, and the body is just a simple box, and uh, kind of cute. Uh, one, one thing about the, um, the uh, ping pong ball here, the assembly is basically take a ping pong ball into the mount, add some glue to the uh, side, Put the ping pong ball in, let it dry, and then go ahead and get a X-Acto knife after it's dried and cut it away from the mount and you have yourself a ping pong ball diffuser. And here it is in place with the mounting screws in. On the inside of this you can see that little mounting cap on the inside. This is where the NeoPixel is and it's a simple on off, just a press fit connector. Easy to get at. And what we've done here is this is really simple construction. Uh, it's 100 pound cardstock. We've you know, folded and glued it. And we have this fur on here. It's just been glued to the exterior of the box. Really simple construction. And um, one thing to mention about the uh, seams here, uh, kind of a unique way to be able to, to soften those is uh, take a little bit of glue, stick it in the seam, and then go ahead and pinch the hair over the seam, which helps hide it a little bit. Rough it up a little bit and Make it cute. Monsters don't have nicely combed hair. There you go. Mopsy.